Uh, you know, uh, anytime I get to speaking about, you know, addiction and recovery and that type of thing, you know, I always got to start out but uh, thanking my higher power, you know, which is God in my situation, you know, for waking me up this morning and for uh, getting me on this journey, you know, because where I was almost three years ago compared to where I am today, you know, ain't nothing but God, you know, so I know having a praying mother has a lot to do with getting me to where I am today. You know, uh, we come on today, you know, just to bring some awareness you know, out there to the public. I know a lot of people be out there struggling that, you know, don't know it's another way of life out there for you. You know what I mean? All it takes is just a little hard work and determination, man, and it could change your life around. You know, that goes for whatever kind of drug that you on. You know what I mean? From alcohol to marijuana, from the harder drugs, you know, it really don't matter because what all we what we all relate to is the pain that we went through. That's what brings us all close together to be able to work with each other. You know, so that's pretty much you know how we all come intertwined with each other. Yeah. You know, through the pain. For for you, and I want everybody to, um, if you don't mind, to to answer this question, um, because everybody has a different story. You know what I'm saying, and and how they got there and how they got out of it and then where they going, you know, this point forward. I know y'all, y'all brothers, you know what I'm saying, united for the same cause, but you still travel a different path and a different journey. So for you, Norm, um, start off with you. What was it? Was it a certain thing, a conversation, or just being in a certain place in your life that you decided, like, enough is enough? Uh, well, like, um, see, for me personally, my journey is a little different from, well, everybody's journey is different from each other, right? Mm-hmm. See, what brought me into this side of recovery actually was, like I said earlier, God doing for me what I couldn't do for myself, right? Because uh, I couldn't see myself with two minutes clean. You know what I mean? Let alone come and get ready to come up on three years clean, right? So how I ended up taking this journey this time was I ended up being in a house raid, you know, where I ended up finding myself in the county jail on no bond, you know, but the police had did so much illegal things in like a three-month period to me where the judge had... uh end up giving me that 8505 thing where they sent me to a rehab where I had to complete that rehab. Then I had to go to a 3.1 program and complete that. And then I ended up being in the drug court program for a year where, you know, I had to have continuously clean urines, you know, to graduate to the next phase of the program, as well as doing some other things like community service and that type of thing. You know, and that's how my recovery journey actually started this time. You know, but once I got it, well, I was able to put that work in, you know, to keep making it to them next stages, you know, the more serious the recovery part came. You know, like it was easy in the beginning because I had all this time over my head where if I messed up, you know, I could have been put out of drug court and ended up in prison during that time. Mm. You know, so like what keeps me accountable today is me, myself, and my brothers. You know, we hold each other accountable. So how much time was you looking at? Man, I had like 90-some years over my head. Oh. You know, where yeah. I would have I would have died in prison. I would've yeah, died. I, I, I would have got sober real quick. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. 90 he said years. Nine, he said 90. I said, whoa. Yeah, had me, had me contemplating becoming the reverend. Yeah, and what? You know oh, what I mean? Man. Church yeah. seven days a week. Yeah. Yep, yeah, I would open up the church right there, right on the right on the hilltop. Absolutely, right beside the Hispanic joint. Yes, sir. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> I got a question for I got a question for Big Norm. Um, you being an athlete, and like a lot of people that are listening might not know your your background as like a big time athlete around our way. Um, when you're competitive like that, sometimes people feel like they can beat certain things themselves. Can you talk about the importance of? not beating it yourself and leaning on other people in order to get over that hump. 
Oh, absolutely, man. See, that's that's one of our main messages that we give, right? Because nobody can do this thing alone. You know what I mean? It's been countless of thousands of addicts that try to do this alone. You know, and a lot of them in the grave right now. Mm. See, it's so very important to have yourself a network of people that you can call. You know, because like a lot of times, man, when that disease hits you, you know what I mean? You, you ain't really trying to pick that phone up. You mm-hmm. know what I mean? You trying to go on and get that next one. Mm-hmm. You know what I mean? So, and this process is very important for you to pick that phone up so you can lean on these guys. You know what I mean? And they're going to hold you accountable because they're not going to co-sign none of that garbage that I'm thinking. Mm-hmm. You know what I mean? They're going to let me know, man, you talking crazy. Yeah, you know right. what I'm saying? Yeah. And they're going to show up. You know, any time that I can call any of these guys or other guys that's in my network, you know what I mean? If they don't answer right then, because we all got lives, they're going to make sure they get back to me. Mm-hmm. Right. You know, and that's how we hold each other accountable, you know. A lot of us go meetings together. We do a lot of stuff together, man, you know, because recovery ain't all seriousness all the time. You got to be able to have fun with it, too, mm-hmm. yeah. you know. So, like, we goes out to eat, you know what I mean? We go football games, baseball games. Mm-hmm. You know, it's just like a, another part of your family. Right. Yeah. You know what I mean? So that's what I look at them guys as. You know, even though some of us are already related, you know, even the ones that's not related, that's my family. Mm-hmm. You know, that's my recovery family. Yeah.